Hello, Dominic here from the Bournemouth Rising Festival, and I'm looking forward to welcoming you to Bournemouth Town Centre on the 26th, 27th and 28th of April 2024. Now, new for this year, we have a lot of poetry happening all across the town centre. For example, in the bandstand in the lower gardens, we have the poetry machine where Beth will be on hand to write poems for you for free. So you just go up to her, tell her what to write, and she will tap away on her typewriter and create a poem for you to take away. Now, surrounding her in the bandstand will be Mark and Judy from the University of Winchester, where they will bring along typewriters for you to have a go, write a poem, write a story, whatever you want. And hopefully all that clacking of those typewriters will disperse all around the lower gardens. They're also looking to put on a typewriter orchestra. So they are busy planning that with some musicians at the moment. Now, in the avenue, we will have a poetry hub led by the Winchester Poetry Festival, where we will have poets on hand to guide you, do some activities and get you into poetry. As well as that, um, we will also be having talks on poetry by poets. And I'm really pleased to say that we have two of those speakers with me today. So who the hell is Edgar? How to Find Your Poetic Voice will be on Saturday, the 27th of April at 10 a.m. at the Avenue. Now, the Avenue is um, in um, on the pedestrian uh, um, street of Bournemouth Town Centre, and it is not at the Pavilion Dance, which is our main festival hub. It's, it's a different venue, so just make sure you're going to the right place. So Millie um, Feargood is a poet and studied MA Creative Writing and Publishing at Bournemouth University and has published poems both online and in print. And she is from Denmark and we are so pleased to have her here in Bournemouth. Now, Tom Masters, or I should say Dr. Tom Masters, is an author and senior lecturer at Bournemouth University and the editorial director of Fresher Publishing, which is Bournemouth University's publishing press. Um, both have worked on the Bournemouth Writing Prize, which is a competition. Um, so first of all, Millie, hi, welcome. Hi, nice to be here. <laughs> Great to have you. And Tom, nice to see you as well. Hi, Dominic. Marvellous to see you too. <laughs> okay, so Millie, maybe first of all, just tell us a little bit about your, your background and your writing journey so far. Well, my background right now are this, well, my writing background, though, is uh, really from when I was a kid. I think most poets and authors will say some, something like that, of being fascinated by words and fascinated by writing and all that from when they were a kid. But I remember writing poems for my English teacher, English not being my native language, when I was a kid. Uh, and she really encouraged me to keep going. So. That's how I ended up doing linguistics and then coming into creative writing. And then in the past couple of years, I've started to really take it more seriously uh, and writing a bunch more. I'm looking to self-publish a, a poetry collection. And then I have um, got a few things published in a few little magazines here and there. And I also won uh, the poetry uh, competition. Well, it was the Bournemouth Writing Prize for student work in 2022, which was pretty cool. Wonderful. And Tom, um, you you presented uh, at last year's writing festival. So thank you so much. That was about talking about the Bournemouth Writing Prize and how to enter competitions. Um, so, and you've also published a few books. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, thank you, Dominic. Yes, it was great fun. Uh, last year's festival, I'm delighted. It's becoming a local institution. Very exciting to be back this year. Yes, as well as uh, being the editorial director of Fresher Publishing, uh, my background is in poetry. My PhD is in poetry, both theory and practice. And I have a special interest in sort of extended poetic form, narrative poetry. And I really like sort of playing around with different traditions within within poetry not just for the sake of replicating them but for what you can what you can do with those techniques to transform them and make them new to bring them into a, a contemporary idiom um, and that's something that uh, that Billy and I want to explore with people this year at the festival you know how can you look back into the past to find your voice for the future and that relationship of tradition and innovation to make it new 
so correct me if I'm wrong, but I think your talk is very much aimed at beginners, so poet, poets or, or writers or, or maybe haven't even started yet, who are thinking about poetry and kind of this entry level. Um, so, and it, the, the title is Who the Hell is Edgar? How to Find Your Poetic Voice. So Millie, tell us a little bit about what you're going to be covering in your session. Well, so the idea is that when you're starting out in poetry, a lot of the time you'll have thoughts of, oh, do I need to live up to these great expectations of, you know, the great who came before? Do I need to do something completely new? What do I do and how do I do it? And I think most people think like that. Some people will say we need to do the classics and other people will say you need to separate yourself completely. And some people will say anything you write is poetry. Um, I guess I fall somewhere in the middle. So the purpose of this is more so to look to the past to a certain degree, because I believe, and I think me and Tom share this uh, belief, is that you it's easier to find your own path once you know what came before you. So it's easier to be new and unique when you know what you're building upon, because no matter what, you can't really separate yourself from the intertextuality of writing. Um, so the point here is to go through some classics, and to look at some modern writing and to figure out how they speak together, whether they do, whether they don't, and how we can speak to something new. It's so interesting because in some of our other YouTube interviews, we've talked about um, finding your purpose and going deep into your past or into your soul to try to bring out what your voice is going to be or even the themes or topics that you want to be talking about in terms of your passions um, and it can be quite therapeutic in a way and you know some of those demons are exercised it you know in a way and comes out in your writing so tom you know particularly what you said just now how are you going to kind of help the people that come to your talk bring those things out Absolutely. Well, I think one of the things we'd like to do is is, is take some of these forms. So it might be uh, the sonnet form or breaking that down, you know, even, even further, sort of the iambic pentameter line and playing with it, getting getting the feel of it, the taste of it um, and, and, and making it less daunting, less strange. You know, the more you sort of you breathe poetry, the more you sort of attune your ear to its patterns and its rhythms, you know, you'll soon find it starts to change and mutate. Um, often, for example, I mean, from personal experience, you know, you might say, I'm going to write a sonnet, you don't end up with a sonnet, you know, it, it goes in a different direction. But there is something of the sonnet that's part of its DNA, that is sort of woven through it and, and and as your ear becomes attuned to those rhythms and patterns it gives you that dexterity that flexibility um and so yeah you you sort of you don't just replicate what's gone before ideally not i mean t.s Eliot talks about this a lot in in his critical writing you know the point isn't to imitate the past but it is to grow out of it so that there is that sort of subtextual continuity uh, and it in increases your range it empowers your voice you know the more these techniques become your own to do with what you will you know the richer and more impactful the poetry you'll compose and you used a very po po uh, poignant word there daunting and uh, and i suppose poetry can be quite daunting or intimidating particularly if you're starting out and that's why we're putting on these free activities you know to try to get people into poetry, you know, by testing it out, speaking to different people. So what do you hope, Millie, the takeaways will be for people coming to your talk? So once they've left, you know, they kind of come in as a complete beginner or maybe they've dabbled a little bit. What are you hoping that when they leave, what, what do you hope people have, have learned or will do? Well, first of all, I hope that people will appreciate poetry for what it is, which is the art form and written word and playfulness and all those things that prose are, but distilled down to linguistic goodness, um, which is what I see in poetry. Um, but I hope people will find it less daunting, like Tom said, and will realize that, first of all, you don't have to write to win a writing prize. You don't have to write to be Edgar, even if you don't know who the hell Edgar is. You don't have to write for anyone else, you can also just write for yourself. Because if you write something that you enjoy, you want to put it on Instagram, you can do that if you want to separate yourself. Or if you want to maybe broaden your horizon a little bit, 
sprinkle in a little bit of the classics, you can try that out, which is why we want to go through a bit of that. So it's just a little bit of a taste and then get some, some you know, energy and some motivation, basically. I suppose what you're saying is just get started. Just put some stuff down on paper and see what comes out. And, you know, you, as you say, you don't have to publish necessarily. You know, you could just do it for the joy and no one will ever see it. But if you do want to publish it, a good entry is to submit it to the Board of Writing Prize. Is that right, Tom? Absolutely. And, you know, I don't know when this interview is going live, Dominic, but the competition is still open until Monday evening. So you have till midnight on the 22nd of January to submit. So if you fancy going in for it, it's there. Well, I will put this video live today so that you'll have two days or three days to go to uh, to enter the Board of Writing Prize. Uh, and if you miss the deadline on the 22nd of January 2024, don't despair because you can enter it into the Board of Writing Festival's first ever competition as well, which goes live on the 23rd of January 2024. So thank you so much, Millie, for joining us today. Thank you for having me. And thank you, Tom. Good to see you. So um, Millie and Tom's uh, talk is Who the Hell is Edgar? How to Find Your Poetic Voice. And that's on Saturday, the 27th of April, 2024 at 10 a.m. in the Avenue. And after you've been to their talk, go into the Poetry Hub and say hello to the Winchester Poetry Festival and their poets and have a go at some free activities. So thank you so much for joining us today and take care and hopefully see you in Bournemouth on the 26th, 27th and 28th of April, 2024. Bye.